All right, well, my name is Dave Stevens. I worked on the railroad for 38 plus years. Uh, I started out in 1975 on the Penn Central. I started out as a trackman. Eventually, uh, I became a welder in 1979. I'd like to share with you a, a story about uh, the welding that I did. The, uh, the fumes that were put off uh, by the welding rod, uh, manganese. Um, I didn't know it at the time, but one of the things they cause are, are strokes. And uh, I worked with a, uh, an older man by the name of John Legg. John was about 15 years older than me, and uh, in all my years on the railroad, he was the favorite guy I ever worked with. We, we were real good friends. And John told me that he had had a stroke in his eye. About 10 or 12 years later, the same thing happened to me. Uh, I had a stroke in my eye. Um, I was about 54, 55 years old. Um, uh, healthy, cholesterol 155, blood pressure 110 over 60. I mean, I, I would never have thought in a million years that I would have a stroke. Uh, but I did, and uh, um, I didn't know at the time, at that time either, but the, the, this manganese, these welding fumes that I'd been sucking in for, for years, caused strokes. So it's something that everyone every welder needs to be aware of. Um, I did decide though after a couple more years of welding that I thought I'd maybe get out of that uh, that craft. So I went I went into the B&B &B and then eventually back to the track department and that's, that's where I was working when I uh, went off work uh, with, with back issues. That's what put me put me out of work. Um, the doctor in pain management, he said, Dave, he said, you know, he said, you're, you're really healthy. Your back is in really great shape, except for these two discs here in your lower back that are completely gone. He said, uh, I think being that, that you're in, in good health and everything, I think surgery would be a, a really good option for you. And uh, so I went to him and had, had the surgery, a, a, final, a spinal fusion, um, where they fused together my uh, L1, 2, and 3, and, uh, but um, I, couldn't, I couldn't go back and do the type of work that I was doing, that, would just, that would just wouldn't have been smart at all, so um, I ended up going on disability, and uh, so at about 58 and a half, I, uh, that was the last I had worked on the railroad, so uh, I'm just glad that, that we had the the means for me to go off of work. Our union has negotiated all this stuff for us and that, that they have our, our best interests and our health, um, that's what they're worried about. And, and until something happens to you, you don't think about it, but, but you ought to think about it because I wasn't healthy enough to work, but you know what, I, I had bills to pay. So guess what? You're going to go and go to work till you're crippled. You really need to participate in this survey that, that's going on right now. Uh, you know, it's for your own good, and you might not believe this or not, but there's people out there that are trying to chip away at that every day. Every day they're trying to take something away from us that, that we've fought for over the years. So um, you need to be aware. That's all I got to say. So log on to the BMWESurvey.com and take the health and safety survey. The findings will help railway workers live longer and healthier lives.